let's go ahead and let's get started here on 1024 to show you what you should have already done. All right, well, let's go ahead and let's change this division to multiplication. First off, we've got x minus 7 over 9 times 2x minus 1. Change that to multiplication. Over here, I've got 6x times x plus 5 over x plus 5 times x minus 7. Now, thankfully, everything's already factored for us at this point. I'm just going to put my x minus 7 as a group. Let's start with my numbers first. Look at my numbers. 6 and 9. Well, 3 goes into both those. 3 goes into 6 twice, and 3 goes into 9 three times. Let's look at my variables. I have an x on top, but no x's on the bottom that are outside my parentheses. So now let's look at groups. I have an x minus 7 on top and bottom, and x plus 5 on top and bottom. What remains on top at this point is just 2 times x. What remains on the bottom is 3 and the group 2x minus 1. I've got to distribute, giving me 6x minus 3 on the bottom. Don't forget to state your excluded values of x. In this case, x cannot be, let's look at each denominator. Here, x cannot be the opposite of 2x minus 1, which is positive 1 divided by 2, 1 half. Here, x cannot be x, uh, the opposite of x plus 5. Therefore, it would be negative 5. Here, x cannot be the opposite of minus 7, which would be positive 7. And since the original problem was division, I also have to look up top here. x cannot be the opposite of plus 5. I already got that negative 5. And we have an x out front there, just out front. What would make that x 0? Well, 0 would make that x 0. So x can also not be 0. And that would be our final expression and the excluded values of x. Let's check b. See how you did on b. Already multiplication, great. So let's go ahead and let's set ourselves up for where we're going, which is to factor. And I'm going to factor out each of these on to, off to the side. So this one right here, this is a nice little dime problem generic rectangle. There's no GCF. So 6x squared, negative 1. So that's negative 6. What uh, multiplies to get negative 6? Adds to get negative 1, negative 3, and 2. All right, they kind of look like a negative 2, sorry. And 2. All right, so we find that when we go all that way, we get factored group up top here. We see that is 3x plus 1 times 2x minus 1. All right, let's go to the next one at the bottom here. All right, this one here, again, I see it's not a special case. It's kind of annoying when that happens, but you know what? It happens, so I've got to do my dime problem generic rectangle All right, for this one right here. Don't forget to look at the number and one. That is sometimes what you're looking at there. In this case, it works. All right, so this one all factors down to 3x plus 1 and x plus 8. And on the other side, oh, thank goodness, we've got a just x squared. That means it goes down to just x and x. And all I got to look at is what multiplies to get negative 32 and adds to get 4. That's going to be a positive 8 and then negative 4. And then once again, we've got another one I've got to get out of the diamond problem in generic rectangle for. So that's this one here. By the end of this chapter, you will be really good at factoring quadratics because we have to do it so often here. Again, if you're struggling with that, I'm going rather fast. That's not what I'm focusing on right here. So if you need help with that, go back to some of my other videos and get help with that. All right. Now at this point, let's look at everything that canceled. 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, 2x minus 1, and even x plus 8. Do not cancel the x minus 4 and x plus 4. 1 is plus, 1 is minus. They cannot cancel even when I write it out like this. You'd be tempted to, but you're not allowed. And don't forget to state our excluded values of x. We're looking everywhere x has been in the denominator. Here, the opposite of 3x plus 1 would be negative 1 divided by 3. The opposite of plus 8 would be negative 8. The opposite of 2x minus 1 would be positive 1 divided by 2. And the opposite of plus 4 would be minus 4. Those are my excluded values of x in order to simplify this rational expression. All right, and that's what we're looking at. Keep practicing, you'll get better the more you do it, all right, and it will get easier over time.